the final of the women's 100 meters. So Asher Smith from three, a decent start for her. Tosso nearly alongside. Here comes Kambunji. Asher Smith is out. Kambunji. Look and Kemper trying to chase. Oh my word! Look and Kemper with Nita also closing. That had way more drama than we were anticipating, and you could even write. So in the end, Nita passes qualifier, but. We don't break 11 seconds, at least that's what the clock stops at. 11 dead. Kambunji just looking. It's been given to Lukenkemper, who does incredibly complete the set. Bronze, silver and gold across the last three European Championships. Well, that is truly incredible. And there'll be some in this stadium who really believe she could do it, and others who will think that's some surprise. Kambunji then, they've been given the same time, officially now it is below 11, 10.99 and it means so much to Lukan Kemper, she won the relay bronze medal in Eugene where unfortunately the Brits from their point of view faltered with that injury to Dina Asher-Smith who wasn't recovered. Daryl Nita follows up her Commonwealth medal with one then in the Europeans. Well, where did that come from, from Gina Luke and Kemper? Out in lane six, and there was absolutely nothing to suggest in her pre-championship form that she was going to challenge the likes of Majinga Kambunje and Daryl Nita, nor Dina Asher-Smith, whose injury issues came back to haunt her. Look at the tears flooding down. Germany's first champion at the sprint since Verena Saylor 12 years ago. Kambunje, well, she... Got a bronze six years ago on home soil when they were in Zurich. Was aiming just to become the second Swiss woman ever to win a European Championships title. She got so close, it came down to thousands of a second. Once again, Daryl Nita just denied after looking so, so good in the semi-finals. After that, everyone was a long way back. It was those three. We'll try and give you an update on the situation with Dina Asher-Smith, but it did look as though it was the problem that played her in the relay in Eugene. Well, the medics just paying some attention to Lucan Camper. I think she just took a bit of a knock on the wrist as she fell over the line. And Lucan Camper just comes from a long, long way back. Kambunje, an absolutely terrific start from her. Svoboda, the 60-meter specialist, drops back after 50 meters there she goes she takes a tumble rolls over on her wrist well the pain was immediately forgotten once she crossed the line it's taken a minute or two for it to <laughs> go through the nervous system well i cannot recall 